Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode 13, and this is the first main event after Backlash as we continue on the road to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Tonight should be a great night of action. Thank you for tuning in. I am very excited for tonight's main event here this evening. Later tonight, you will see the brand new WWE Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles in action against a member of the Hurt Business, Cedric Alexander. This match stemming after Cedric Alexander's attack on AJ Styles a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. How will AJ Styles fare against Cedric Alexander after winning the WWE Championship this past Sunday Night at Backlash? We'll talk more about that matchup later tonight, but we are kicking things off right here, right now, with a women's Money in the Bank match qualifier. Scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Liv Morgan. As we mentioned, our next Universe Mode pay-per-view coming up in a couple of weeks' time will be the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. This past Monday Night on Raw, we saw the first of the Money in the Bank qualifying matches. For the men, it was Edge qualifying over Drew McIntyre, but tonight we are here to talk about the women. So far, Asuka has punched her ticket to the Money in the Bank ladder match in a couple of weeks as she defeated Naomi this past Monday Night on Raw in her return to in-ring action. We are getting set to declare the second spot of six inside that ladder match in a couple of weeks' time. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler! So who will join the Empress up tomorrow, Asuka? As the second woman to qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Such a huge opportunity at stake coming up in a couple of weeks. The WWE Women's Champion Bianca Belair retaining her championship at Backlash over Sasha Banks, who is out four to eight weeks with broken ribs. Bianca Belair will be defending the championship on pay-per-view in a couple of weeks, but you know she's got to have her eyes on everything regarding the women's division and especially the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. As the winner, will take down the briefcase and will hold the contract for a future WWE Women's Championship opportunity, anytime, any place, up to one year. So who is it gonna be? Asuka secured the first spot of six. Who will get the second? Will it be Liv Morgan, or will it be Shayna Baszler? Let's get set for our first contest of the evening, Women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Let's get things underway right here on episode 13. This is WWE Main Event. Should be a great night of action as we're kicking it off the high stakes matchup and then of course the WWE Champion AJ Styles who we've seen in a number of big matches as of late. We wonder how he will fare. I don't, can't imagine he will be at 100% tonight as he will be going one-on-one -on -one with her business member Cedric Alexander. That match a couple of weeks in the making after Cedric Alexander's post-match attack of AJ Styles after he qualified to fight Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship this past Sunday Night at Backlash. A lot of writing on that matchup. We'll talk about that Later this evening when those two are inside the squared circle, but right now Liv Morgan and Shayna Baszler fighting it out here in our opening contest for a huge opportunity at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. As Shayna, the submission specialist in that ring, she knows how to beat you down, break you down limb by limb as we're seeing right here. Just turn Liv Morgan's hand or arm inside out and just stomping right in the arm. And we're going for a submission hold. We call her a submission specialist. She's going for one early. Liv Morgan could tap out. Shayna could be looking to make quick work. And is Liv going to be able to get out of this maneuver here? And it looks like early on in the matchup, she's still got fight left in her. Very impressive. Able to get Shayna Baszler, the bigger woman of the two, up into the air, slamming her down on the map below. Liv Morgan's never held a championship here in the WWE. She had a run in NXT. She's been a part of the main roster for several years. She's gotten opportunities in the past, but she's never been able to get it done in the big match. If she qualifies tonight, it moves on to the Women's Money Bank ladder match. What a big moment that could be for Liv Morgan if she were to pull down the briefcase in a couple of weeks. On the other hand, Shayna Baszler, a former NXT Women's Champion, a former Women's Tag Team Champion, She's held championship gold before, but it's been quite some time since Shayna Baszler has been to the top of the mountain. She has never held the WWE Women's Championship. Very interesting to see what Shayna Baszler's run at the top would be like if she can qualify for the Money in the Bank matchup in a couple of weeks and if she can take down the contract. She is working on Liv Morgan right now. A couple of slams down and just a kick to the forehead. Brutal inside the squared circle. 
is the queen of spades, the submission specialist herself, but Liv Morgan's got to fight. If there's one thing Liv Morgan's got, it's a little bit of heart and soul. It's a little bit of fight inside that ring. She's a hard woman to keep down. She's had big matches in the past. As we mentioned, she hasn't been able to get the job done when the championship's on the line. But she definitely knows how to show some fight inside the ring. But Shayna Baszler, what a bruiser she is. Just tackling Liv Morgan down. Goes right into the second submission hold of the matchup. Is Liv Morgan going to be able to hang on here as Shayna Baszler punching her ticket to the ladder match? She's wrenching it in there. Liv Morgan could be about to pass, but no, look at this. Able to get out of it. Liv surviving the submissions thus far. Very impressive out of Liv Morgan. She always impresses inside of the ring. Of course, as we mentioned this past Monday Night on Raw, it was the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, returning to action for the first time in over 200 days to the WWE ring. She took on Naomi in the first Women's Money in the Bank match qualifier, and Asuka, in very impressive fashion, in just under five minutes, was able to defeat Naomi inside of that ring, tapping her out to the Asuka lock. Asuka is your first participant of six in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. In moments, we're going to find out who will be entrance number two. Liv Morgan showing signs of life throughout this match, but I got to give the edge to Shayna Baszler. She has pretty much controlled the majority of this thing here. Looks like she's going for another submission. There's so many different submissions in the repertoire of Shayna Baszler. And she's got Liv Morgan wrapped up here, really wrenching in on the back. She could be in deep trouble. Is Liv Morgan going to be able to break another one? And she's able to get out of it. And Shayna spears down Liv Morgan. Everything Liv Morgan's throwing at Shayna Baszler is just not enough. Shayna Baszler's got an answer for almost everything. But Liv's fighting back, man. She wants that opportunity. She wants the big match. She wants to shine under pressure. But she is hanging in there at the fight tonight. You got to give credit where it's due. There's the kick. Liv Morgan hits the ropes. What's she going for here? Look at this. Double knees to the face. Shayna Baszler goes down. That could be the exclamation point on this matchup. Oh, Liv Morgan so close from qualifying for the money in the bank. Unfortunately, not able to get it done there. Shayna Baszler still in this. Look at that. Just picks the ankle and goes right back to work. Baszler is a hard woman to keep down inside of that ring. And here she goes again. The ground and pound. Showcasing that MMA background. Elbows to the forehead. Liv's got to be careful. She doesn't get a cut here over the forehead or anything like that. And Liv, look at that. Little face buster there. That could be all. No, Shayna Baszler gets the shoulder up. Liv is putting in a fight. You got to give her credit. Shayna's really grounded and pounded throughout this matchup. Really beating her down. But for everything Shayna's thrown at Liv, Liv is hanging in there. Liv coming from the top, beautiful cross body. She doesn't catch all of it. But Shayna's still down and out, and that's what matters. And now she's going back up. Liv knows it's not done yet. Shayna's kicking out of everything she's throwing. Liv's got to throw the big offense here if she wants to win this matchup. Shayna to her feet. Liv Morgan, beautiful missile drop kick from the top down below. Liv Morgan may have just punched her ticket to the Money in the Bank matchup. And no, Shayna Baszler again getting the shoulder up. What a contest. We have kicking us off here on WWE Main Event this week. It's been a great week of action. We had the Backlash pay-per-view, which, man, what an incredible night that was. This past Monday Night on Raw, truly a great follow-up to the pay-per-view. That great matchup between Drew McIntyre and Edge in the main event. The rest of the night was great as well. Now we're kicking this off with Shayna Baszler and Liv Morgan. And boy, are they going at it. With such an opportunity on the line, high stakes, high reward. You got to throw caution to the wind if you want to meet your maker at Money in the Bank. And Shayna Baszler lays out Liv Morgan. Big time maneuver there. Liv could be dazed and confused off that drop. Shayna with the kick. What she got going? A little bit of a suplex possible here. Oh, turns it inside out. Shayna's got the choke called in. Liv Morgan has survived several submission holds in this matchup, but unfortunately. That one is not the same case. And Shayna Baszler, in impressive fashion, picks up the victory and qualifies for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup in a couple of weeks' time. Credit where it's due, Liv Morgan put up an incredible fight. 
She survived a lot of Shayna Baszler's best offense. Shayna did the same. And in the end, it was Shayna Baszler. Tapping out Liv Morgan, and Baszler punches her ticket to the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, let's keep the action going here on WWE Main Event. We got a little bit of singles action featuring some tag team competitors. First things first, Odie Lorcan making his way to the ring. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Oni Lorcan. It's hard to find a pair of guys that come more rough, that come more tough, that come more violent inside the squared circle than these two former NXT Tag Team Champions, Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. Lorcan set for singles action, though, here tonight on Main Event. And his opponent is an old rival of his independent circuit, Drew Gulak. This is going to be a good one. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak, a former WWE Cruiserweight Champion in his own right. A submission specialist himself inside of that ring. Also knows how to get a little violent, just like Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. Very similar styles, but also so different at the same time. It's a great matchup, a great pairing. Is Lorcan and Gulak. These two have had many battles over the years on the independent scene. Now here in the WWE, looking to do battle right here tonight on WWE Main Event. This should be a good one. Strap in! This is going to be fun to watch. But let's get set for action here on WWE Main Event as we continue on. Oni Lorcan with Danny Burch in his corner versus Drew Gulak. This should be a good one, folks. And the last time we saw Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch inside of the ring, they picked up a huge victory over the current WWE World Tag Team Champions, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Of course, if you didn't watch Backlash, go check out the replay. The Viking Raiders on that night retained the WWE World Tag Team Championships against the two men they first defeated them. They first defeated for them, excuse me, Randy Orton and Riddle, RK Bro in a rematch on the Backlash pay-per-view. But we discussed it on that night, and we're going to discuss it more here. After Lorcan and Birch defeated the Viking Raiders a couple of weeks ago, we said that they had to be next in line for the World Tag Team Championships as Odie Lorcan showcasing his talents right here tonight. Nice dive over the top rope, taking out Drew Gulak. But getting back to our discussion, Lorcan and Birch got to be next in line for the World Tag Team Championship opportunity after they owned a previous victory over Eric and Ivar. I'm sure the Viking Raiders have that knowledge. I'm sure they want to get back at Birch and Lorcan inside the ring as well. I'm sure they got their eyes on Oni Lorcan as we speak. It should be very interesting to see if that matchup takes place, assuming that Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch got to be at the front of the line at the current moment. But speaking of backlash, again, if you did not miss, or if you did miss it, excuse me, go check out the replay on the channel right now. You'll see matches such as AJ Styles defending the WWE Championship. Or for the WWE Championship against then the defending champion, Bobby Lashley, if I can get my words out. We also saw the main roster debut of Pete Dunne. The return of Dominic Dijakovic. Jeff Hardy versus Finn Balor. A six-pack challenge for the Cruiserweight Championship took place as well. Intercontinental Championship was on the line. Shinsuke Nakamura defended. I guess the Celtic Warrior Sheamus was a great night of action. Go check out the replay if you missed it. But getting to the action inside the ring, Drew Gulak trying to fight back here over Oni Lorcan. And a nice stomp. A little bit of that violent tender that we talked about moments ago. Working over Oni Lorcan here. I'm sure Lorcan's looking to keep his momentum going for himself as well as Danny Burch. As we mentioned, they got to be at the front of the line for the World Tag Team Championships, but a singles loss is definitely going to derail you a bit. Look at that, German. Right into the bridge, into the cover. Gulak able to get the shoulders up. Danny Burch got to like what he sees at ringside. Oni Lorcan continuing to take the fight to the former Cruiserweight Champion and old rival Drew Gulak. But Gulak, not one to lay down. He's bringing the fight to Lorcan, but nice big boot. 
what a pairing these guys are. As we mentioned, so similar inside the ring, but also so different. Gulak is a true technician. Odie Lorcan, so violent inside the squared circle. Gulak down and out. Odie Lorcan looks like he's looking to take care of some finished business here. Oh, he's going. Oh, look at this little Boston Crab on Drew Gulak. Odie Lorcan locking it in tight. Could be our second submission. Ending of a contest here. If this goes that way, is Drew Gulak going to tap out? Or Gulak able to push Lorcan off. Gulak hanging in. That was a nice transition by Oni Lorcan into the Boston Crab. But Gulak, beautiful maneuver there. Trying to fight back. Oni Lorcan may be down and out. A win for Gulak. It definitely put him in the higher ranks for a future championship opportunity here tonight. He's got that Dragon Sleeper locked in very tight on Oni Lorcan. If Lorcan passes out, what a win it will be for Drew Gulak. But Oni Lorcan, look at that, able to roll out of it. Nice counter there. Definitely going to be feeling the effects of the Dragon Sleeper, however. He's trying to fight back, feeling a little bit of urgency. Nice takeover there. Great matchup we got going on between these two men. Lorcan sends Gulak into the corner. And now we're going to hang him in the Tree of Woe. Gulak may be in trouble here. Let's see what Odie Lorcan's got. He's just going to press on the head of Drew Gulak. A little bit of the down and dirty violence. Lorcan heading to the top rope. I feel like I know what he could be looking for here. Lorcan, classic blockbuster, one of his signature maneuvers from the top rope. And that may spell the end for Drew Gulak here tonight on main event, but unfortunately for Oni Lorcan, Drew Gulak gets the shoulder up at two. Drew Gulak is hanging in this fight thus far here tonight. Let's see what Oni Lorcan's got next. He's looking to put. A nice transition. He does it once again. Boston Crab. Gulak may be way too close to the ropes, though. Is Gulak going to be able to get his hands on that bottom rope and break the hold? And he is not. The pain too much. Oni Lorcan tapping out Drew Gulak to that Boston Crab here tonight. Single-legged Boston Crab does the victory, does the job. Gulak falls to Lorcan. Great matchup. Oni Lorcan staying strong in his tag team pursuit along with Danny Birch for the World Tag Team Championships. I can't wait to see if those two are going to be in line for a future championship opportunity very soon. This is a big win for Oni Lorcan. Tap it out, Drew Gulak, here tonight. Here is your winner, Oni Lorcan. Big win for Oni Lorcan, continuing the momentum for himself and Danny Burch here tonight on Main Event. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up on Monday Night Raw next week, the Money in the Bank qualifying matches continue. Just signed, Damian Priest goes one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Dijakovic. That should be a great matchup. And then in another Money in the Bank qualifying matchup, we have a grudge match. The Messiah, Seth Rollins, looking to take care of the thorn in his side that has been Mustafa Ali. The rematch from a couple of weeks ago, this time with Money in the Bank implications on the line. And Seth Rollins sending in this Raw report, a message from Mustafa Ali heading into Raw. Ali, you cost me a shot at the WWE Championship. You cost me a win on pay-per-view, but you will not cost me a spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. This Monday on Raw, I end you once and for all, strong words from the Messiah, Seth Rollins. Will it be Seth Rollins or will it be Mustafa Ali heading to Money in the Bank? In a couple of weeks, we will find out on the next episode of Universe Mode on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Hurt Business from Charlotte, North Carolina. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Well, this main event came together a couple of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw after AJ Styles defeated Drew McIntyre in the finals of the number one contenders tournament. Cedric Alexander of the Hurt Business sent to the ring by then WWE Champion Bobby Lashley to attack the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, to send a message to this past Sunday night on Backlash. Of course, as we know, AJ's picked up the win over Bobby Lashley, but he still wants a little bit of retribution after Cedric Alexander did a number previously on Raw. And for the first time since Backlash, here comes the phenomenal WWE Champion, the new champion, AJ Styles, in action here tonight. And 
and his opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. It was this past Sunday Night Backlash. If you missed it, go check out the replay. The Phenomenal AJ Styles took on the almighty Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship in the main event. And in the end, a second phenomenal forearm was the exclamation point for AJ Styles to become the brand new WWE Champion against the almighty dominant Bobby Lashley. For the first time in several years, AJ Styles is on top of the mountain in the WWE once again as your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. AJ's had a couple of big matches the last number of weeks. He went through the number one contenders tournament, then went right into backlash. You can't imagine AJ Styles is coming into this match tonight 100%, but you know he's going to give it 100% inside the square circle over Cedric Alexander. As AJ immediately goes for the springboard moonsault, Cedric, however, kneeling up, getting to his feet. Cedric, a former cruiserweight champion, a former world tag team champion as well, with member of the Hurt Business, Shelton Benjamin. Cedric, no one to take lightly inside that ring, even if you are the phenomenal WWE Champion. As we mentioned, AJ Styles, very busy inside of that ring the last couple of weeks. He started off the number one contenders tournament against Ricochet. He moved on to defeat Damian Priest. Two weeks ago on Raw, he took on Drew McIntyre, and then this past Sunday night, he took on Bobby Lashley. It's been a busy schedule for the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, but the fight continues. And it's only going to keep getting harder. Only going to keep getting more difficult for AJ Styles now that he is the man and the target is on his back as the WWE Champion. And especially with the Money in the Bank pay-per-view coming up in a couple of weeks' time, we are sure that AJ Styles will be defending the WWE Championship on that show. Hopefully we have news soon on who AJ Styles will be defending against. But on the other hand, of course, the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup will be taking place. And the winner will hold the contract to take on the WWE Champion. AJ again miscalculating that springboard moonsault. But the winner of that matchup will hold the contract to eventually take on the WWE Champion, whether that's AJ Styles or not, anytime, any place, up to one year. AJ Styles, as we said, his schedule's only going to get busier, and it continues right now inside of that ring with a member of the Hurt Business, Cedric Alexander. And Cedric, beautiful Spanish fly maneuver on AJ Styles. Could be looking to put the Phenomenal away one early. Not done yet. AJ may be hurting after some recent wars, but he is not one to go down lightly, no matter the case. AJ with a kick on Cedric Alexander. The Phenomenal one looking to showcase his talent. Look at that little bit of a brain buster there from the WWE Champion. Into the cover on Cedric. It's a one. Will we get a two? Will we get a three? Cedric gets the shoulder up. AJ Styles heading to the top rope. Cedric Alexander's down and out. The phenomenal one looking to take advantage of a dazed Hurt Business member. Look at that interesting maneuver from AJ Styles. And that time, third time's a charm with the springboard moonsault. And he goes into the cover. Off that flying clothesline from the top rope. Cedric's still in the match though. You see Cedric's not going down without a fight. Countering out and sends AJ Styles eating the canvas. I cannot wait to get to this Monday Night on Raw. The men's Money in the Bank ladder match qualifiers will continue. Just announced Damian Priest goes one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Dijakovic who returned to the WWE at Backlash. Should be a great singles matchup between those two awesome competitors inside the ring. And then our second Money in the Bank qualifier that will take place on Raw. That grudge match between Seth Rollins and Mustafa Ali. Which all started when Mustafa Ali knocked Seth Rollins out of the number one contenders tournament a couple of weeks ago. I can't imagine what's going to happen when the Money in the Bank spot is on the line. But meanwhile, AJ Styles, Styles clash to Cedric Alexander. And AJ Styles picks up an emphatic win here on Main Event. Short, sweet, and to the point. In his first matchup since becoming the WWE Champion, the phenomenal one making quick work of Cedric Alexander. 
He went in there, he did his business, he got the job done, and now he's getting his hand raised. That is why he is the phenomenal one, and that is why he is your WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Great win by AJ Styles here tonight off the Styles Clash. The question is now, AJ Styles is your WWE Champion, the target is on his back, but who is going to be first up to challenge AJ for the WWE Championship? With Money in the Bank approaching, a lot of contenders, a lot of challengers got their eye on the phenomenal one. I can't wait to see who's next up. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on Raw. I just want to be great, yeah.